In this video, I would like to present you two different Google tools that you can use in order to determine whether a term is still popular or not. And the first one that I want to talk with you about is Google Trends. So go to trends.google.com and you will see this platform right here. Now, why exactly or what exactly, first of all, does this platform do? Well, basically, you can type in certain terms and then it will show you how often over a certain period of time this term was Googled on Google. So why should you use this? Well, for instance, let's say you look for fidget spinners. I think we all know what fidget spinners are, these little things that you can basically hold in your hand and then it spins. And these so-called fidget spinners, they were very, very popular for a long time. And you will not believe what the graph looks like right now. So when you, for instance, want to sell such a product, then you can look on here and can see whether there is demand for that product. So let's actually do that right now. Let's type in fidget spinner. And let's look how much demand there was and how much demand there is. So this is right now fidget spinner for a uh, for the last 12 months. And as you can see, in the beginning of 2000 or at the end of 2016, 27th of November, there was no demand. No one knew about it. Zero, absolute zero. And then at some point, it became more and more and more and more and more popular. And then at this point right here, that was the highest point. And then it went down again. And right now we are in October of 2017. And there's again, almost no demand whatsoever for it. So I would definitely not sell any fidget spinners. Now let's compare that, for instance, with yoga mats. So let's type in yoga mats. And let's go with that term. Actually, we didn't. Let's take this one right here. And let's just refresh the page. Hopefully it will show us something right now. Or maybe the demand for yoga mats is that small. As you can see, there's no demand for yoga mats, which I cannot really believe. But let's actually go with a different term. Let's go with yoga, just yoga as a discipline. Let's see how many people were actually Googling that. As you can see, a lot of people were Googling that. So at that point, you know, it was as popular as a fidget spinner, then the fidget spinner got more popular. But here at that point, there seems to be like a massive jump. And at that point in time, yoga was as popular as the fidget spinner. And it still is extremely popular as a term. Now, let's actually compare that with something else. Let's go with, let's say, what could we go for? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. So let's type this in. Drama series, Game of Thrones. How does it compare? And as you can see, Game of Thrones is much more popular than all of these combined, probably even. So in this time, there was a hype about Game of Thrones. And we can do all of that here with this tool. We can actually, you know, add even more. We can also add people. Let's go with the YouTuber PewDiePie. And let's see how many people are actually interested in that. I think we put, take, pick the wrong one right here, Swedish comedian. And now, as you can see, there's also some demand for this person, but not too much. So Game of Thrones is incredibly popular. And when you only take products, you can, you know, delete all of those. Let's uh, remove this one, remove this one, and remove this one right here. And let's say we are going on AliExpress. And let's say we are looking, let's actually change the language quickly to just international so to english hopefully so it hopefully will change right now so anyway let's go on aliexpress for a second and let's go with a couple of products let's say we are going with jewelry and watches and we go with children's watch let's actually type in children's watch let's see what it gives us a children children's watch so let's actually go with the search term. Often with the search term, it doesn't really show a lot. You often have to take the product. So let's see if it gives it to us. If not, we take something else. We, let's say we take, let's go back and let's have a look at certain brands that are selling right here or certain other products. So let's say, let's go with Pocket Watch. I think Pocket Watch should be in here. Pocket Watch. Pocket Watch. Okay, there we go. Now let's see, there's almost no demand for Pocket Watch as I've already guessed. Let's compare that with another product. Let's say we are going with jewelry. Of course, this is now not very, let's say, uh, defined. So let's actually go with a more defined term. 
let's go with computer in office. Let's go with iPhone X. Let's actually go with iPhone X um, with iPhone X cover. iPhone iPhone X. Or is it named iPhone 10? Okay, iPhone. Let's go with iPhone. Let's see how popular iPhone is. And as you can see, iPhone is much more popular. And of course, we can add another one. Let's actually go with one more. Let's see if we can find any product in yoga. Yoga mat, perhaps, or yoga mat. Let's actually just go with mat. And now we can see, all right, there is not too much demand either. So there's the most demand for the iPhone. So for instance, we can already guess, all right, there's also probably a lot of demand for the iPhone case. So you can do a couple of things with that. You can download these results right here. But if you don't want to rely on that and you're selling only in the US, you can also use this tool right here. Um, this tool actually gives you insights about the shopping behavior of Americans. For instance, you can type in, let's say, Apple... Apple iPhone 7, and then you can see where people in the United States are interested in the iPhone 7. This is the so-called, uh, well, Think with Google tool, the Shopping Insights tool. Just go to shopping.thinkwithgoogle.com, and then it will open the homepage, and there you can just type in whatever um, whatever product you want. So it will now take some time until um, this finished. So now, hopefully, it is finished very soon, and it will show all of these little dots on the map. So this right now is a map of the United States, and you will very soon see that there is massive demand for that product right now. So basically, um, the iPhone X already released, but still there's massive demand for it. So that was the peak kind of, before that there was no demand really, because you know, not too many people were actually you know looking for it because there was no iPhone 7 yet. But then it released, it got released, and of course then at that point there was a lot of demand. It is now going back because there's now a new iPhone, but as you can see, for instance, at that time right here, these are the cities that bought the iPhone like the most. These were like the cities where there was the most demand. So when we do an analysis, when we do, for instance, an ad campaign, we want to target places, we want to target people. And this is, for instance, an amazing tool for us to target places. So go to shopping.thinkwithgoogle.com, type in your terms, and you will get some amazing results. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see each other in the next video. <music>